Some trivia now. Did you know that Mauritius has an Indian national security advisor? And I don't mean Indian origin, I mean an Indian citizen. It's an arrangement that goes back decades. New Delhi handpicks the Mauritian NSA. How strange is that? Can you imagine an, a non-Indian as India's national security advisor? Or a non-American as the US NSA? It's unthinkable. So why does Mauritius keep doing it? We'll get to that in a bit, but first, meet the new National Security Advisor of Mauritius. Report states this man, Vivek Jory. He's a senior intelligence officer. He's already worked extensively in India's neighborhood. His next posting is Port Louis. It's the capital of Mauritius. The man he's replacing is also an Indian official. Kumarisan Ilango. He's a 1982 batch IPS officer. He had retired as second in command at RAW. That's the research and analysis wing. It's India's spy agency. Now, this arrangement is very important for India. Most of us may know Mauritius as a holiday destination, but there's a lot more at play. For instance, its location. Mauritius is located in the Western Indian Ocean. It is 65 kilometers long and 45 kilometers wide, so it's pretty small. But strategically, it is very important, sort of like a launch pad to Africa. China has been increasing its influence in the Western Indian Ocean. They already have a base in Djibouti, in the Horn of Africa. But Mauritius has been a firm Indian ally, and one reason for that is shared ethnicity. Around 68% of all Mauritians are of Indian origin. 48% of them are Hindus, and that includes their Prime Minister, Praveen Jugnaut. There is an Indian cultural center in this country, also the World Hindi Secretariat. The relations are pretty deep. India trains Mauritian security officials. We also fund dozens of projects on the island. Just last year, a major deal was announced. India promised to invest $500 million on a metro project. Plus, New Delhi is the first responder. When things go wrong, Mauritius reaches out to India first. Whether it's a pandemic, an oil spill, or a natural disaster, India has always been the first to arrive. Is that why Mauritius has an Indian NSA? Well, not really. The answer to that lies in the country's history. Mauritius became independent in the year 1968. Until then, it was a British colony, 1968. A few years later, in 1974, they signed a security deal with India. From then, the military exchange began. And things were fine until 1982. Elections were held that year. A new coalition government came to power in Mauritius. And the prime minister was this man, Anirud Jugnot, the father of the current prime minister. Soon, divisions emerged within the coalition. Jugnot faced a rival within his own party, a man called Paul Berenger. So in 1983, Jugnot traveled to India. He had a meeting with Prime Minister Indira Gandhi. His objective? To get military support from India, and he was successful. Indira Gandhi approved Operation Lal Dora. The plan was to land Indian troops in Mauritius. It never happened, though. The Army and Navy could not decide on how to do it, on who would lead the operation. So the military plan, Lal Dora, was paused. Instead, New Delhi opted for covert operations. The raw chief was dispatched to Mauritius. His job was to mobilize the Indian origin community, and he was successful. Anirudh Jugnot retained his chair. He later requested India to send a national security advisor. And New Delhi sent one, General J. N. Tamini. He was the Indian Army's chief liaison officer with RAW, and since then, all Mauritian NSAs have been Indian. It's a very unique arrangement, one that signifies the importance of the relationship. India invited Mauritius to the G20 summit as well. Prime Minister Jugnot met Prime Minister Modi at his residence. Only two other leaders got such a reception. U.S. President Joe Biden and Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. They met Prime Minister Modi at his residence. All other meetings were held at the G20 summit venue. So clearly, it's a special relationship, and it's a mutually beneficial setup. But is it also a popular one? Not always. Last year, there was a major snooping scandal in Mauritius. The opposition blamed the Indian NSA for it. They questioned why the arrangement continued. Prime Minister Jugnot stuck by New Delhi. He slammed the opposition for what he called India bashing. So the government of Mauritius is still on board, and it's important to keep it that way. Because in the race for the Indo-Pacific, Mauritius will play an important role, and their security is linked to India's security.